create a turbulent wind speed file of .bts. Hi there and welcome to Catchment of Resources. In this video, we are going to look at how you can create a .bts file for turbulent wind speed data. Also in this video, I am going to provide a link to a video titled Using TurbSim to Generate Turbulent Wind Files for OpenFast. It's a video done by LT72884. It describes how you can actually view the wind data in a .bts file. Let's go into this video. So first of all, when you open a folder for one of the glue codes, if you actually open the .fsd file, in that file, you are going to view different instructions of code to be run. If you go to the input files segment of this um, code information, you will see where you have inflow wind inflow file so it's the 5 megawatt inflow wind 12 meters per second dot that file that file for you to locate it it's in the 5 megawatt baseline folder so we'll go to that folder to see where it is so in the 5 megawatt baseline you can see here the 12 mega 12 meters per second file. So we open it in Visual Studio Code. And in it, we can see different wind types. So wind type 3. You have wind type 1, wind type 2, wind type 3. Wind type 3 is the selection for turbulent simulation. So for turbulent binary top sim, the selection is for wind type 3. And that wind type 3 done then, then has the .bts file. You can see 90 meters, 12 meters per second tower .bts. That file is the type of file we want to generate. That file is located in the wind folder of 5 megawatt baseline. So you can see the file here, the .bts file. So in order for us to, to create a .bts file, we need to first of all, Install the application TopSim. TopSim can be gotten from TopSim OpenFast. When you Google it, you do a search and you search this NREL website and you open TopSim. Once you've opened the, the location, you scroll down and you will see. Top sim v150.exe that file is what you are going to download when you download this file you copy it to the directory where you want it to be located in this case we have placed it in the c drive but on that top top sim a folder of top sim was created so we paste it there and then you unpack this file you unzip the file within this folder So once you unzip the file, you see different files. You see the .exe file. You see the .imp file. That .imp file is an input file. So you can see there is a .imp file and a .bts file. Let's open the .imp file in Visual Studio Code. So that .imp file from TopSim, once you open it, you see the different parameters that have been placed in the different categories on the instructions of the file or the command um, line. So the issue here is that you need to replicate this input data in the input file that you are going to create in a moment. So it's going to be similar, but not everything is going to be the same. You are going to change it according to what your own specification for the environment for the turbulent wind speed is going to be. So the different parameters that we are going to look at, we are going to look at the IEC cow. We are going to edit that. We are going to edit the grid lines. We are going to edit the height of the grid line height and and width 
So those are the few information you are going to edit, but it's based on what you have in your own input file and what you want to design for. So we open the top scene folder, the one we created, and then we copy this top scene.imp. We are going to copy it and create a new, give it a new name. So we'll call it top scene 90. This top scene 90 is what we are going to edit for it to conform to the different details in the different instructions we want the code to run. So we open top sim 90 in Visual Studio Code. And so the different parameters that we want to um, adjust, we can adjust them here in the instructions. So we are going to create a dot, generate a dot .bts file. So we are going to change that runtime option to true. It's currently false, but we are going to change it to true. Then the creation of generation of dot .wnd file, we are going to change that to false because we don't need that file. What we just need is the dot .bts file. So we change that to true. So we also change the number of grid lines in the Z direction and in the Y direction. We are also going to change the height or hub height. You can change it to 90. Then you change the grid height to about 154 and the grid width to about 145. So depending on what you want to use for your own parameter design, you can actually change this information here for the instructions. When you have grid number of grid lines to be 13, it means that if you were to increase it to about 31, you have more finer grid. So for 13 number of grids, you have a quasi data processing. So when you look at the turbulent model, the turbulent model is written smooth. But for this turbulent file that we are creating, it's not going to be smooth. It's going to be chi mal. So you need IAC chi. So that's what you are going to copy and replace with smooth. So that's done. Once you are done, you then save the file and proceed to generating the .bts file. In order to generate the .bts file, you are going to drag the topsim.imp file onto the topsim.exe file in that folder. You are going to drag it over the topsim.exe. Once you drag it, the command file begins to run and execute the file, the input file, to create the .bts file. So once it has completed the running, it's going to create the .bts file for you. That .bts file is what you are now going to copy and place it in the folder of the 5 megawatt baseline, the subfolder wind. So where you also have the initial 90 meters, 12 meters per second dot bts file. That is where you are going to place this new dot bts file that I have created. Then you go back to the initial. Then you go back to the initial um, file. The dot that file in order for you to change the title of the .bts file to be what you want. Even the .dat file, the .dat file can also be changed. You can also change your .dat file if you want to. But if you only want to change the .bts file, these are the instructions you follow. So the location of whatever file you want to change, you can go to that location. So this .bts file, since that's what we want to change alone, we now change the name from 90 to 12 meters per second. You change it to topsim90.bts. So the turbulent file information that is going to be run alongside the different code in the .fst file 
is this file that we have created, the top sim 90 that we have created. Thank you for watching this video. This is Catchment of Resources where we create for better living.